Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ, first off, I would like to apologize for the masses this weekend. We could not broadcast yesterday and the poor quality from Saturday evening. Uh, we had some bugs creep into our streaming software. I think we have those fixed, so we hope that this one comes through loud and clear. So today we celebrate the 31st Monday of Ordinary Time, and the church today remembers Saints Vitalis and Agricola. They were both martyrs, and they died in the year 304. In the year 393, Bishop Eusebius of Bologna found out that the bodies of the two Christian martyrs were buried in the Jewish cemetery there. They were exhumed in the presence of Saints Ambrose of Milan, of Saint Ambrose of Milan, who referred to them in a sermon as martyrs. Later, we heard that um, Vitellus, Agricola, was a Bolognese, and Vitellus was his slave. And Vitalis was slain first in the amphitheater for his religion. And when Agricola still refused to recant after his slave's execution, he was crucified during Diocletian's persecution. So, Saints Vitalis and Agricola, for standing up for your faith in the face of a government that was trying to kill you for it, we ask you to please, please pray for us today. So let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, bless us with the wisdom to praise you in spirit and in truth, so by following your holy will we may gain eternal salvation. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us take a moment confess our sins to God in ways that we have failed him and our neighbor in thought, word, deed, and omission, so that we may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. Please now make an examination of your conscience. Let us say together the second form of the Confidier found on page 66. I confess to Almighty God in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done or failed to do. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. For your penance, I would ask you to say, One Our Father, and one Hail Mary for the conversion of our nation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me, I absolve you from all of your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You, O Lord, are near, and all your commandments are permanent. Of old I know from your decrees that you have established them forever. See how I love your precepts, O Lord, and your kindness give me life. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Christ eleison, Kyrie eleison. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, send your Spirit upon us as we observe your commandments of love. May we experience your presence as we come before you in praise. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, if there is any encouragement in Christ, any solace in love, any participation in the Spirit, any compassion and mercy, 
complete my joy by being of the same mind, with the same love, united in heart, thinking one thing. Do nothing out of selfishness or vainglory. Rather, humbly regard others as more important than yourselves, each looking out not for his own interests, but also for everyone, for those of others. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, in you, O Lord, I have found my peace. In you, O Lord, I have found my peace. O Lord, my heart is not proud, nor my, are my eyes haughty. I busy not myself with great things, nor with things too sublime for me. In you, O Lord, I have found my peace. Nay, rather, I have stilled and quieted my soul like a weaned child. Like a weaned child on its mother's lap, so is my soul within me. In you, O Lord, I have found my peace. O Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. In you, O Lord, I have found my peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. May Almighty God cleanse my heart and my lips, so I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. On the Sabbath, Jesus went to dine at the home of one of the leading Pharisees. He said to the host who invited him, When you hold a lunch or a dinner, do not invite your friends or your brothers or sisters or your relatives or your wealthy neighbors in case they may invite you back and you have repayment. Rather, when you hold a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind. Blessed indeed will you be because of their inability to repay you, for you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, unfortunately, this is our only daily mass this week due to both the election tomorrow. <coughs> and to getting ready for our dinner coming up this weekend. <clears throat> but today is an important day. Because first off, we know that we should do nothing, as St. Paul said to the people of Philippi, out of selfishness or vainglory, but rather regard others as more important than yourselves, each looking out not for his own interests, but also everyone for those of others. Brothers and sisters, this means that we are called to look out for each other, to make sure that everyone is treated fairly, gets a fair shake, and not shaken down. And then Jesus himself tells, he tells us to invite the poor to our banquet, the crippled, lame, blind, those who cannot repay us back. We are called to take into our own hands, taking care of others, not handing it off to a bigger entity, but to do it ourselves. Because it is in taking care of others that we come closer to Christ. And if we are in a position where people are looking to take care of us, it is up to us to humbly accept that and take what they are offering in a humble, thankful way, so that they may grow and we may both grow in the Lord. Now, I'm not going to tell anybody how to vote. That's not my thing. But I want you to vote. If you haven't already, get out and vote. Vote your conscience. Vote for what the church teaches as close as possible. No one's going to be perfect. No one's going to be perfect. But evaluate, evaluate who you're choosing from and choose the one who most aligns to what the church always and everywhere has taught. It's that simple. It's that simple. But it's our duty to do so and not leave things into the hands of others, just like it's not for us to leave taking care of others in the hands of others. We must do our part. 
The same is true when it comes to civil activity. So take it seriously. And again, if you haven't already, get out tomorrow. Go to the polls. It's not that hard. And choose correctly according to what you see as being closest to that what the church teaches. Again, it's not going to be perfect. It will not be perfect. But choose who you assess to be closest to the teachings of the undivided church for the last 2,000 years handed down from Christ himself. So to remain in his word, we'll truly be his disciples, and we will know the truth. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. O oh Lord, you live forever to make intercession for those who approach God, and so we have the courage to pray, and our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that we remain faithful to God's commandments as revealed in creation, in the, co in the covenant, and in Jesus, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation in this time of discernment, election, and transition, may all citizens cast their vote in a spirit of reverence for this right, charity, and for those they disagree with, and for concern for the good of all as we strive for a more perfect and peaceful union, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For men and women in our community, that they may respond generously with open hearts and willing spirits as the Lord calls them to spread the good news of Jesus Christ as priests and deacons, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For the grace to see and love each person as a neighbor like ourselves, including the unborn, the elderly, the outcast, the burdensome, and the stranger and the criminal, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our beloved dead, especially those on our Wikimiki Remembrance List and those who will die today, that they may rest forever in the comfort and strength of divine love in God's kingdom, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all the needs and intentions, we will deepen the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Guide us, Father, to love you with heart and soul, understanding and strength, and to love our neighbor as ourselves. We ask all these things spoken and unspoken through your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. I cling to your decrees, O Lord. Let me not be put to shame. Instruct me, O Lord, in the way of your statutes that I may exactly observe them. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given and human hands have made. May it become for us the bread of life. <coughs> By the mystery of this wine and water, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands may it become our spiritual drink. For God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, and bless this sacrifice which we have prepared for the glory of your holy name. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. We see this offering, most holy trinity, which we make in memory of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ, and in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints. May they whose memory we honor on earth intercede for us in heaven. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice from my hands for the praise and glory of his name. 
for our good and for the benefit of His holy church. Lord our God, accept these gifts of your bounty which we bring to you by the power of your Holy Spirit. May these holy mysteries sanctify us in this life and lead us to eternal joy. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Out of love, you called us to life. You give us our daily bread and the bread of life, and by your protection and assistance, you see to our every need. So with trust, we commend our day to your fatherly care. Therefore, with the angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy Sacrifice and Mass continues with Eucharistic Prayer 2, which is found on page 82 if you're following along. We give thanks to you, God our Father, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, whom in these last days you have sent us as Savior, Redeemer, and Messenger of your will. He is your word, inseparable from you. Through him you have made all things, and in him you were well pleased. You sent him from heaven to a virgin's womb. There he dwelt and was made flesh. He was revealed as your son, born through the Holy Spirit and of the virgin. When he suffered, he fulfilled your will and gained for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands to free from suffering those who believed in you. When he was betrayed to his freely chosen suffering, thereby to destroy death, to break the chains of darkness, to crush hell beneath his feet, to give light to the just, to make a covenant and to manifest his resurrection, he took bread gave you thanks and said, take and eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. In like manner, he took the cup and said, this is my blood which is poured out for you. Whenever you do this, do it in memory of me. Together, calling then his death and resurrection to mind, we offer you the bread and the cup. We thank you for allowing us to come before you and to serve you. We ask you to send your Holy Spirit upon the offering of your Holy Church to gather all in unity. Grant to all who partake of these holy mysteries the fullness of the Holy Spirit and the strengthening of their faith in the truth. So may we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him may glory and honor be yours with the Holy Spirit in your Holy Church now and forever and ever. Amen. Page 95, let us pray together with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety. As we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. May the union of divinity and humanity in Jesus Christ bring us sanctification and eternal life. Amen. Lord, Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, 
qui tolis peccatamuni, miserere nobis, agnus dei, qui tolis peccatamuni, dona nobis pace. Let us say together the second communion prayer found on page 98. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be caused for my judgment or condemnation. Though I am unworthy to receive this great sacrament through your loving kindness, may it become my safeguard and healing remedy. My saving master, awaken in me a living faith, a fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make me your willing servant, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite me entirely with you, my Lord and my God. I will take the bread of heaven and call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Please join me now in the act of spiritual communion. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Lord, may I possess with a pure heart that which I have taken as food. May the gift that I receive bring me healing and strength now and forever. Lord, let your kindness come to me, O Lord, your salvation according to your promise, so that I have an answer for those who reproach me, for I trust in your words. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have given us the true bread from heaven, our Lord Jesus Christ. May we be so nourished that, abiding in him and he in us, we may be filled with the power of endless love. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join me now in the prayer of St. Michael. Holy Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. So we now prayer for peace with the prayer of St. Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood. <coughs> as to understand, to be loved, is to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, thank you all for joining us for Holy Mass today. Well, some in the past have inquired as to why we do not have Mass on Election Day here. Well, just directly under us in our hall is a polling place, and we know how Scripture can be construed to be interference on both sides, so just to stay out of the fray, we just cancel. And then we also have our dinner this weekend, so for the rest of the week, we will not be having our weekday Mass as we usually do. So we hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Remain in the state of grace. Let evil wherever you find it. Spread joy and the Word of God wherever you go.
God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her to the light, to the light from above. From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans white with foam. God bless America, my home sweet home. God bless America, my home sweet home.